Apple then and now, a comparison of the tech company's revolutionary products. Apple, the company that revolutionized the world of technology, is more than just a maker of gadgets. It's a company that has transformed the way we live, work, and play. From its early days as a scrappy startup in a garage in California in 1976, Apple has grown into one of the most valuable companies in the world, with a vast array of products and services that have become essential parts of our daily lives. But what is it about Apple that has made it such an iconic brand? Is it the design, the innovation, or the marketing? Join us as we take a deep dive into the world of Apple and discover the secrets behind its success. Welcome to the Time Capsule Channel, the place where we dive back in time and tell you the stories of the present. It was the first successful personal computer company that helped make the graphical user interface more common. Stephen G. Wozniak had always wanted to build his own computer, and in 1975 the first commercially successful microcomputer, the Altair 8800, a device that emerged as a kit and used the newly developed microprocessor chip, made his ambition suddenly realizable. Wozniak's proposal for an individual microcomputer had been inspired by his fellow members at the Homebrew Computer Club, which was a San Francisco Bay Country organization centered around an Altair. The manufacturer of Wozniak's concept was shifted to the Jobs family garage in 1976 by the 26-year-old Wozniak and 21-year-old Steve Jobs while the Hewlett-Packard company, wherein Wozniak had a trainee in engineering, showed little curiosity in it. Their company was called Apple. Jobs sold his Volkswagen minibus and Wozniak his programmable computer to raise money for operating capital. The 1977 version was an independent computer in a custom-molded plastic container, as opposed to the frightening steel boxes of other early machines, at Jobs' demand. Their first model was simply an operating circuit board. Along with additional capabilities, the Apple II included a color display, making Wozniak's invention the first microprocessor with widespread popularity. Now let us focus on how the commercial success of the Apple company has made it a path for worldwide success. Jobs knew that if he wanted the firm to develop, it would need professional management as well as significant capital. Ignoring the fact that was a very good business rookie whose look still showed signs of his hippie background. He convinced Michael Markula, a wealthy former Intel employee who became Apple's largest shareholder as well as a significant member of the company's board of directors, to invest, while he also persuaded Regis McKenna, a well-known branding expert for the semiconductor industry, to help represent the business. The business caught off almost entirely, especially after Wozniak developed a device called a disk controller that enabled it to include a cheap floppy disk drive, thereby making the retrieval and storage of data easy and dependable. The Apple II was the personal computer preferred by thousands of aspiring programmers since it had enough space for data storage and manipulation. The very first computer spreadsheet, VisiCalc, was released in 1979. This invention would eventually come to be identified as a killer application, an application or piece of software that has become so valuable that it generates hardware revenues. Primary educational institutions were another significant initial market for the Apple II, while VisiCalc helped establish the small business as well as consumer markets. Apple maintained a strong presence among educational institutions through a mix of competitive costs and contributions which helped to sustain its platform's domination of primary school software far into the 1990s. The company's profits and size increased at a record-breaking rate. By 1980, the business had over $100 million in earnings and more than 1,000 workers. The size of its initial public offerings which is known as IPO in December was the largest after Ford Motor Company's initial public offering in 1956. The dominant company in the computer sector, International Business Machines Corporation which is called IBM, was challenging Apple. IBM constructed a computer employing components that were open to everyone, such as the Intel CPU, and employed DOS which is called a disk operating system, breaking from their practice of using entirely private hardware and software. As a result, new application writers were able to depend on a significant customer base for their applications since other companies too might employ the same hardware elements that IBM used and might acquire DOS from Microsoft. The Lotus 123 spreadsheet, which quickly obtained popularity in the business community, a field that the Apple II had failed to penetrate, became the Fresh System's own killer software. With an innovative new generation of personal computers that would be noticeably simpler to operate, Apple had its own strategy for regaining leadership. 
They were subsequently shown the first working graphical user interface, which is called GUI, which featured on-screen windows, a mouse for pointing, and the usage of icons in place of the protocols demanded by all previous computers. These concepts were immediately adopted by Apple into two new machines, the less expensive Macintosh, which launched in 1984, and the Lisa, which was introduced in 1983. The later project was taken over by Jobs himself, who emphasized that the computer was supposed to be insanely great rather than just outstanding. The end product was enlightening in keeping with the science fiction-inspired television advertisement that debuted the Macintosh during the live broadcast of the 1984 Super Bowl, a $2,500 computer that was unlike any that had come before. Critics criticized the Mac for lacking necessary features like cursor keys and a color display as well as having insufficient memory and storage. Apple progressively upgraded the device under Scully. However, Apple's 1985 release of a cost-effective laser printer and pagemaker maintained the Mac during those first few years. The book publishing, as well as graphic arts sectors, immediately developed as Mac's major market. Another advancement was a database application called HyperCard that Apple started including freely with every Macintosh in 1987. This was Apple's golden age, the company's sales were close to $10 billion, and it was selling over a million computers annually. The obsolete Apple II series had to be kept in production until 1993 due to Mac's incompatibility with Apple II software, an error that was first overlooked. Although the Mac OS itself drew inspiration from the Park GUI, Apple struggled for years unsuccessfully to prevent Microsoft from obtaining the look and feel of its operating system. In the meantime, fewer customers were ready to pay the prices that Apple had been able to collect because of its reputation for outstanding performance but Windows versions advanced, and competitiveness among other PC makers led to increased innovation and cheaper pricing. After several fluctuations with ups and down the Apple company was still competing with the other member computer developer companies. As a result, iTunes, a computer application for playing music and converting music to the tiny MP3 digital file type which was frequently used in computers and other digital devices, was developed by Apple in 2001. Later that year, Apple started selling the iPod, a little MP3 player that immediately dominated its market. The touchscreen iPhone, a cell phone with the ability to play MP3s plus movies as well as access the internet, was unveiled by Apple in 2007. With the introduction of the iPhone 3G, called iPhone 2.0, which also supported the use of the global positioning system which is called GPS, Apple addressed the second limitation in 2008. This had the facility that the stored memory could be wiped remotely if a device was lost. Apple launched the App Store the same year, allowing iPhone users to buy apps. The newly introduced iPhone 3GS contains a new operating system, in addition to hardware updates including a 3-megapixel digital camera that can record digital films and an integrated digital compass, the iPhone OS 3.0 is also available. The iPad, a touchscreen device with a display of 9.7 inches centimeters, in a diagonal manner was launched by Apple in 2010 as a size in between laptop and smartphone. It weighed 1.5 pounds or 0.7 kilograms, and it was roughly 0.5 inches thin. High-definition video can potentially be seen on the touchscreen. Apple created its own ebook program, iBooks, for the iPad together with five major publishers. Apple introduced iCloud in 2011, a cloud computing service that allows users to store their apps, pictures, documents, and newly bought music in the cloud and has updates sent to their other devices automatically. Also, iPhone 4, as well as MacBook Pro, was introduced in this same year. In 2012, iPhone 5 and Apple TV were introduced to the market. The Apple Watch, a wristwatch, was released by Apple in 2015. In 2014, iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus were introduced to the phone world. iPhone SE along with iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 6S, and 6S Plus was introduced in 2016. Also, a pair of wireless earphones called AirPods was released in 2016 and quickly rose to the top of the market. In 2017 iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and also iPhone 10 was introduced to the market. In 2018, the Apple Watch Series 4 went on sale, including a redesign with a sensor that was capable of producing electrocardiograms ECGs. iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, and also iPhone XR were available for sale in this particular year. Apple became the first firm in 2018 to reach an estimated value of $1 trillion, helped by the success of the iPhone. 
Apple was the first corporation to double that amount two years later. In 2019, Apple Corporation introduced iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and also iPhone 11, 11 Pro along with iPhone 11 Pro Max which was a very exciting introduction to iPhone history. 2020 has opened the way for some of the more popular inventions including the introduction of the iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Max, iPhone 12 Mini, and also iPhone Pro Max. In 2021, the Apple Corporation took steps to introduce iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13 Pro, and also iPhone 13 Pro Max. In 2022, Apple has introduced a well-known phone brand, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro, iPhone 14 Pro Max along with iPhone 14 Plus. It has also introduced the Apple Watch Ultra and Apple TV 4K this particular year. Also, they have introduced MacBook Pro as well as HomePod Generation 2 in 2023 by the time we are in this discussion. Apple has had an extended existence as well as has seen a number of changes, but with the return of Steve Jobs, the company has truly found its identity. Apple's eye inventions, including the PowerBook, the iPod, and the entire lineup of eye devices, entirely transformed the computer market. This is how Apple became the multi-million dollar corporation it is today, with a selection of goods and a wide selection of apps available through the Apple Store. Do you know that this business has a good reputation across the world? That's why Kevin David Mitnick, an American computer security consultant and an author once said that Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs founded Apple Inc., which set the computing world on its ear with the Macintosh in 1984. We hope that our viewers have a clear understanding of how the modest Apple Corporation grew to become an iconic brand with two aspirational innovators and the gradual introduction of the IT company's breakthrough products. Did this buzz your curiosity for more? What would you like next? Thank you for watching, subscribe, and follow for more.